All right, so this has not been disassembled completely. I replaced the fifth gear slider, and here you can see the gap between the uh, reverse idler and this and the slider of the straight cut teeth. There, there's a millimeter and a half, maybe. It was hard to get any sort of caliper in there to measure it accurately. So this slider is used, but in good shape as far as I could tell. Um, the little dog teeth that are uh, basically just beginning to touch the uh, synchro ring. They look pretty good. I don't see there's no rounding off or anything. Um, Alright, so focusing on the synchro ring, there's some polished looking spots on the right side of it. Right there you can see it. And yeah. I think that the synchro ring just didn't compress like it's supposed to, so I couldn't get the slider up over it. And that's why I couldn't act, I couldn't engage fifth gear. I don't know why the brake band or whatever the stop, the anchor block, whatever it's called, the pieces all seem to move freely, and I can compress it and squ squeeze the synchro ring, and it compresses. So, um, not entirely sure what's going on there, but I don't know what I'm looking at. So hopefully someone. Uh, watching the video can can tell me if they see something glaringly wrong with this. So the pressed on dog teeth there on the left, the pointy bits on the left, I'm going to replace those. Uh, so the a new used slider on the right, new pressed on dog teeth there on the left, um, new synchro ring, new brake bands, uh, new bushing, and uh, cage bearing under the fifth gear there on the left. Um, those are the parts I plan to replace. Uh, everything else looks fine. I don't didn't have any trouble with first through fourth. Uh, it was just fifth gear that uh, gave me grief and I just basically couldn't get it to go into fifth. And it's like I was hitting a brick wall. So we'll re replace those parts and see what happens. There I'm trying to throw it into fifth. You can see the slider got closer, but I'm not sure how it... Is it supposed to snap all the way in with moderate pressure without spinning, or do I need to have it actually turning? There you can see I'm in neutral. Thing wiggles past all three gates. So the gap between the idler and the uh, slider is what I wanted to show you. It's, Looks like it's not terrible. It's a little over a millimeter, but I don't think that's the cause of the issue. And I haven't adjusted anything. So the fork is uh, how it came off. I haven't uh, adjusted the brass fork on the uh, shaft. There's some metal. You can see that metal right there. I just noticed. And uh, I'm not sure what it came off of. Something, well, something metal, obviously. But I don't know if that's from the, uh, maybe the brake band or if it's a, piece of the synchro I don't I have no idea the uh, snap ring I'm going to replace the snap ring there too just because I hear they get deformed when you remove them sometimes so I'll have a, a new one on hand You know, if you, you're working on this Porsche and the parts are just astronomically expensive. Here's the um, original slider. You can see the dog teeth are just worn right away. I mean, they're, they're pointy still, so I don't think they were grinding. But I think the synchro ring just wore the inside of them away. Look on the ID. It, it's like 20 or 30 thousandths of an inch worn in. They're real thin. They're real sharp and thin as a result. And this thing is pretty much useless. So this is a little over $900 from Porsche. So I found a used one for a fair price, 130 bucks. That uh, doesn't look too worn at all. So fingers crossed on it. All right, yeah, so that's my uh, 915 fifth gear issue. Um, 
Hopefully I can update this later and let you know how I fixed it.